بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد قال الإمام قال الإمام شيخ الإسلام محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى وغفر الله في رسالته نواقض للإسلام الثاني من جعل بينه وبين الله وسائط يدعوهم ويسألهم الشفاعة ويتوكل عليهم كفر إجماعا So the Shaykh starts off by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending present salutations upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then he moves on to continue and he says where the original author of the book Shaykh al-Islam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab may Allah have mercy upon him in his treatise this small book that we're reading called The Nullifies of Islam Nawakidul Islam he said and second so now we finished the first nullifier and that was the nullifier of shirk shirk as a nullifier of Islam and now we move on to the second nullifier so the shirk says athani meaning the second nullifier whoever makes between him and Allah an intermediary or one who puts something in between him and Allah so he can go through this intermediary to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and calls upon them and you know does dua to them and calls upon them etc and asks them for intercession and trusts them then this person who fits this definition has disbelieved <coughs> left the fold of Islam disbelieved and the Sheikh explains so Sheikh Abdul Razak al-Badr he explains this he says قال المصنف رحمه الله تعالى الثاني أي من نواقد الإسلام من جعل بينه وبين الله وسائته يدعوهم ويسألهم الشفاعة ويتوكل عليهم فقد كفر إجماعا وبرادالية whoever puts between him himself and Allah سبحانه وتعالى an intermediary whoever that may be and then asks their praise and asks for example asks them for intercession and trusts upon them then this person indeed has disbelieved in his uh, so then the shaykh goes on to say هَذَا النَّاقِضُ دَاخِلٌ فِي النَّاقِضِ الَّذِي قَبْلَهُ so I'll just mention this before we continue reading that the shaykh says that this nullifier it's within uh, the Nullifier that preceded I, the first nullifier of shirk, because obviously this second, uh, if you haven't noticed already, this second nullifier is actually committing shirk, and it's uh, it is a part of the uh, the first uh, nullifier. And the sheikh he continues, says, he continues, he says, "Illa anna naqid aladhi qablahu amu yashma kulla anwa shirk wa jamia afradi, wa hada naqidu khasun fi tikhad al wasait aladhi na min." خلالهم يتقرب العبد إلى الله عز وجل زائما أنه يقربونه إلى الله ويدنونه منه قال الله عز وجل عن الكفار. So the Sheikh says that if we look into the affair, then the first nullifier that in the previous lessons that we've covered, he says the first nullifier is general, it's arm, and it covers all of these, all of shirk, all the different types of shirk, of course. And he says, but this nullifier, the second nullifier, although it's shirk, it's uh, it's more specific. It's specific to taking intermediaries in between you and Allah Jalla wa'ala. And these intermediaries are used by the servant, the, the servant of Allah, or the the slave of Allah, to to seek nearness to Allah Zawajal. And the person assumes, this person who falls into this this uh, tribulation and this calamity assumes that he is seeking nearness to Allah by way of this intermediary, whatever the intermediary is, whatever in the middle, whatever it is in the middle. 
that they're using. And the Shaykh quotes from the Quran, he says, the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal about the kuffar, the disbelievers, where Allah Jalla wa Ala said, مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَ That's from Surah Al-Zumar and we visited uh, Surah Al-Zumar several times during reading this book and this is verse 3 and what did they say? They said in the meaning of the translation verily uh, um, it says it says, we worship them only that they may bring us near to Allah. Verily, Allah will judge them between them concerning that wherein they differ. Okay, let me read the whole ayah. Surely the religion, i.e. the worship and the obedience is for Allah only. And those who take awliya, protectors and helpers besides him say, we worship them only that they may bring us near to Allah. Yeah, this is what they say. We worship them only that they may bring us near to Allah. I.e. they use these as intermediaries. To seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like they say here. Yeah. The Shaykh says, hey, أَنَّهُمْ اِتَّخَذُوهُمْ وَاسِطَةً بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانُهُ wa ta'ala لِيُقَرِّبُوهُمْ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَلِيُدْنُوهُمْ مِنْهُ تَبَارْكَ wa ta'ala وَعَلَّلُوا هَذَا الْإِعْتِقَادِ الْفَاسِدِ وَالدِّينَ الْبَاطِرِ وَالْكُفْرِ الْمَشِينِ uh, so, on the basis of these people doing this, is that where the Sheikh mentions here that they take these intermediaries besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to seek nearness to Allah. And they have this belief that they are they fall short they, they fall short and they fall into so much they fall into so much sin and they're always falling short. So they feel with their erroneous understanding that they need something between them and Allah to reach nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because these the thing that they use as an intermediary, they believe it to be, for example, a, you know, it's a righteous, it was a righteous person, you know, or the person has a, a high position and status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so they use this. This is their reasoning, their false reasoning. And by this, they end up coming sheikh. So this sheikh explains this to us. So that's why they take these intermediaries. So the Shaykh, he continues, and he says, وَمَنِ اتَّخَذَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى وَاسِطَةً يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ جَلَّ وَعَلَى عَنْ تَرِيقٍ عَنْ تَرِيقِ هَذِي الْوَاسِطَةِ أو يصرف الْعِبَادَاتِ لِهَذِي الْوَاسِطَةِ زَائِمًا أَنَّهَا تُقَرِّبُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ يَزَّ وَجَلَّ فَهَذَا مِنَ الْإِشْرَاكِ بِاللَّهِ كَمَا مَرَا مَعْنَا فِي الْآيَةِ مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ ظُلْفَ So then the Shaykh says, whoever, whoever takes, takes an intermediary between him and Allah, by that worshipping Allah Jalla wa Ala, uh, by using an intermediary, right, by uh, channeling his worship through an intermediary, instead of directly worshipping Allah as we all should be doing, whoever does this or shares a part of his worship and directs a part of his worship to this intermediary, whatever it may be, and assuming by that, that they've, uh, that they've sought nearness to Allah or are seeking nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the Shaykh says that this is from shirk, this is polytheism, committing shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Shaykh says, as we read in the ayah that we read in the previous paragraph. مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ يُزُلْفَ What did they say? What did the mushrikeen, the polytheists say? They said, we take these intermediaries, uh, you, know, we, uh, you know, we worship them to seek nearness to Allah. This is the only reason we're doing it as an intercession. And obviously this m makes them fall into shirk. 
because they're worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as mentioned previously in the previous lessons. So the Shaykh says, hey, أَنَّ مَقْسُودَهُمْ أَنْ يُقَرَّبُوا أَنْ يُقَرَّبُوا أَوْ أَنْ يَدْنُوا مِنَ اللَّهِ زَوَجَلْ وَأَنْ يَفُوزُوا بِثَوَابِ اللَّهِ فَتَخَذُوا هَذِي الْوَسَائِدِ فَهَذَا مِنَ الْكُفْرِ بِاللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى لِأَنَّ الْإِبَادَةَ بِجَمِيعِ أَنْوَائِهَا وَمِنْهَا الدُّعَى إِنَّمَا يُتَّجَهُ فِيهَا إِلَى اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى So the Shaykh says, I, that, what they mean by this is, the intention is that they seek nearness to Allah by way of these intermediaries uh, to, uh, to uh, attain the uh, reward, thawab. So they take these intermediaries to do that. And the Shaykh says that by doing this, this is disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says because worship, all, all worship, the whole entirety of worship, all of it, with all of its types, and from it is dua as an example, it's for Allah, so it should be directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. It's to be directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. And from that, uh, from the many types of worship that we've discussed in previous lessons and in even previous books, whoever has attended those lessons or listened to them, then we know that from the types of worship is dua, supplication. So the Shaykh, he continues, moves on to the next paragraph of this page here. The first page that we're on. He says, وَالْمُسَنِّفُ رَحْمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى أَفْرَدَ هَذَا النَّاقِضَةِ بِالذِّكْرِ مَعَ دُخُولِهِ فِي الَّذِي قَبْلَهِ لِكَثْرَةِ بُقُوءِ هَذَا النَّاقِضِ فِي النَّاسِ So let's just stop there for a second and just ponder over what the Shaykh said. He says that the author, may Allah have mercy upon him, the author of this book, he says that he singled out this nullifier uh, by mentioning um, uh, uh, this second nullifier and by mentioning what came before it, which was shirk, the first nullifier. And he mentioned this second one, i.e. taking intermediaries alongside Allah, putting something in the middle, in between you and Allah, to seek an instant Allah. He goes, he, the shaykh, he says that the author mentioned this because the how popular this error is with the people even today how how popular this big big error which leads to shirk is with the people it's well known amongst the people unfortunately and so this is why the sheikh has mentioned it here and has mentioned it as the second nullifier so the sheikh goes on to say he says and he says that this is therefore by way of that, it is, it the the act of shirk is mostly in this category. See, uh, use of intermediaries, calling upon intermediaries, going to some uh, grave or some so-called whether they are alive or dead, and going and doing the war to them, and you know all this kind of thing that happens in this day and age and in previous times as well, and it's. Unfortunately, a well-known thing, sadly. And this is what leads them to shirk. And it's the most popular form of shirk because of that. And the shaykh says, وَأَكْثَرِ مَا يَكُونُ أَيْذًا تَلْبِيسُ أَهْلِ الظَّلَالِ وَإِمَّةُ الظَّبَاتِرِ فِي هَذِ الْبَابِ And also, that the people of misguidance, this is how they trick the people. This is the easiest way, from the easiest ways they trick the people into committing shirk. By saying, oh, this person's wali of Allah. This person is such and such a good doer, salih, righteous person. Go to his grave, do this, do that. You know, all the previous examples I mentioned have been mentioned in previous lessons. This is the easiest way that a person can be misguided because he's not expecting it. And, and it's like, oh, you're only just putting somebody in between you and Allah because you're a wrongdoer, you're a sinner, you're a, you're, you have many shortcomings. These people are good, they have a station with Allah, they have a status with Allah, so you have to go through them. Obviously, this is all false. And these shirk. So then the Shaykh says, Haythu dakhalu ala nasi wa ala lawam wal juhal fi ba'd shubuhat alati harafuhum min khilaliha an al tawheed ila tandeed. Fa qawlihim an hadha shirk innahu wasilatan ila Allah. Innahu wasilatan ila Allah. Fa qawlihim inna hadha huwa al murad. Bi qawlihi wabtahu ilayhi al wasila. 
ilayhi al wasila so we'll just finish here so the shaykh says from where uh, from from there enters upon the people the general folk and the ones who are ignorant some um some doubts some doubts that occur in their mind because of this and because of these doubts they they go off the tracks they go off the track of tawhid and they end up setting up rivals alongside Allah i.e. partners alongside Allah and they end up coming shirk like their speech uh, uh, with regards to this shirk that they say oh this is a wasila this is a way to Allah we're just using this person in our intermediary or whatever it is it's a way to Allah for us reaching and seeking nearness to Allah so inshallah what we'll do is we'll, we'll stop here because I'm having difficulty speaking. I got. A, I have a sore throat. I don't know if you can tell already, and uh, I'm fasting as well, so it's uh, it's not helping. Um, so inshallah, we'll stop here, and uh, we'll take a break here and cut the lesson short. But inshallah, we'll continue from this section, uh, this page. Inshallah, next week. Hopefully, inshallah, I'll be feeling better uh, from next week. Um, I think we'll fall on Eid So there may not be a lesson Next week But inshallah if there isn't I will let you know either way And we'll continue After a couple of weeks And if that is the case But uh, either way Next lesson Whenever that is Either next week or the week after We'll start from this point Where we left off inshallah Obviously excuse me for cutting the lesson short But I'm, I'm having difficulty To continue with the lesson So inshallah Excuse me And uh, Forgive me, and uh, inshallah, we'll continue next week uh, by Allah's permission or the week after. I will let you know either way. And uh, yeah, um, just you might have time to go over the previous lessons, whoever has and listen to them. So go over the previous lessons, whoever you've missed, might be a good time to catch up for whoever needs to, inshallah. Subhanakullah, wa bihamdik, ashadu wa la ilaha illa ant, wa astaghfirullah, wa astaghfirullah, wa astaghfirullah, wa astaghfirullah, wa rahmatullahi, wa barakatuh.